Let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. There are in fact two things, science and opinion, the former begets knowledge, the latter ignorance. Wherever the art of medicine is loved, there is also a love of humanity. Frequent and causeless fatigue portends an impending illness. Walking is man's best medicine. The life so short, the craft so long to learn. The life so short, the craft so long to learn. Declare the past, diagnose the present, foretell the future. People think that epilepsy is divine simply because they don't have any idea what causes epilepsy. But I believe that someday we will understand what causes epilepsy, and at that moment, we will cease to believe that it's divine. And so it is with everything in the universe. As to diseases, make a habit of two things, to help, or at least, to do no harm. Before you heal someone, ask him if he's willing to give up the things that make him sick. That which is used, develops. That which is not used wastes away. The natural healing force within each of us is the greatest force in getting well. If you are in a bad mood go for a walk. If you are still in a bad mood go for another walk. It is far more important to know what person the disease has than what disease the person has. The soul is the same in all living creatures, although the body of each is different. Natural forces within us are the true healers of disease. Extreme remedies are very appropriate for extreme diseases. A wise man should consider that health is the greatest of human blessings, and learn how by his own thought to derive benefit from his illnesses. Healing is a matter of time, but it is sometimes also a matter of opportunity. If we could give every individual the right amount of nourishment and exercise, not too little and not too much, we would have found the safest way to health. 